Hello everyone. I'm going to show you a quick and easy tip you can use uh, to improve the performance of your handheld radio, dual band handheld or 2 meter or UHF whatever. And that's by adding a counterpoise. Uh, some people call them a tiger tail I believe. But just adding a counterpoise to the radio to make up for the other half of the dipole antenna which is basically what this is. And without that you're only using half of the antenna system really because uh, you don't get that counterpoise off a small radio like this. I also added a longer antenna closer to a quarter wave on two meters works much better than the stock antenna so that's another thing you can do. But between doing that and adding a counterpoise you're going to get a lot better performance out of your radio. So let's take a look at how I made up a counterpoise. Probably the first thing you can do is to replace the stock rubber duck antenna with something uh, a little longer, closer to a quarter wave, get rid of the duck. Um, and this will help out quite a bit right there. This is an MFJ dual band antenna that I have. Very flexible. And this tip, uh, the original tip came off so I put my own on there. For this antenna to match up with my radio, I did need an adapter. I've had these for a long time, so but as you can see with the counterpoise, it forms a more complete antenna. As you can see, this now forms a complete dipole, half wave dipole, quarter wavelength on each side. And with my adapter, it's a BNC type antenna with the adapter here. I slip the ring over that. I like to use some uh, hot glue over the solder connection on the ring with the wire, about a 19 inch piece of wire for a dual band radio. And I'll slip that over the BNC adapter here, female, and slip the antenna on top of that for a nice uh, snug fit once the antenna snaps down into place. Another option is to connect the counterpoise wire to a screw on the back of the radio, but you want to make sure there's continuity between that screw and the base of the antenna, the ground side of the antenna, or else it won't work. Now here's an old scanner portable that I have. It has a BNC connector. I'm going to add a counterpoise wire to that too to help reception. There's different types of ring connectors here. The larger size uh, fits over the BNC just fine with the yellow plastic covering on them. And I like to remove that plastic also, cut it off of there. Just uh, it's a little less bulky and you can bend the ring terminal to fit the radio. Now for the smaller size connectors like the SMAs, you can use a blue, uh, it's quarter inch eye for the SMA connectors. They fit a little better. The yellow is the 3 8 inch eyes. And as you can see on this radio though, there's a little lip around here and some of those have that. And you'd really have to do some work to shape this just right to fit it in there, but I guess you could probably do it. Otherwise, um, use the screw on the back of a radio, like I was showing earlier. And I don't have to worry since I have this adapter and that works out fine. The antenna, if you're wondering, it's an MFJ1715. I, I've had this antenna for a while now and it works fine. Here you can see the counterpoise attached to the radio. I, li I have some ribbon cable like this on hand and I like to use that uh, for my wire. It's a very small size. I can just peel off the right length here, cut it. And you want to use a fairly light gauge wire for your counterpoise so it's kind of out of the way and doesn't show up too much. I cut a 19 inch piece for a dual band radio or two meter version. Pull that plastic off the ring connector strip the wire and then I want to twist the wire a little and put some solder on the ring here and touch a little bit of solder onto the wire tin the wire and then insert it into the ring solder it up and then shape the ring to fit your radio for 2 meters or dual band, uh, 19 inches works well. You might want to go just a touch more. If the uh, BNC connector doesn't want to quite go down all the way now, it doesn't snap quite into place or twist into place, then you might have to take the ring off and just uh, file it down a little bit so that uh, you make it a little bit thinner, about 
half the thickness there and then you should be able to make it work. If you have a single band 220 megahertz radio, you probably want to go with about 11 and a half inches of wire for counterpoise. If you have a just a UHF single band 440 megahertz radio, like this one, then uh, about six and a half inches of wire will make a good counterpoise. This antenna that's on this UHF radio is already close to a quarter wave, so it works just fine. We're going to keep the same antenna, but the ring won't fit very easy under this antenna connector. It'd be kind of difficult. So what I want to do is there's a screw on the back of the radio, and I will take and size up a wire for this. I want to check the continuity between that screw and the base of the antenna connector, the ground side, and yes I have continuity so that's fine. I can use that screw. Take about six and a half inches of wire here and tin it and put a little twist in it and then I will slip it around that screw and tighten it up. Nice thing about these counterpoises, if they come off or break, uh, it's easy enough to put a new one right back on there. So we'll go ahead and tighten that down and this will be completed. I hope uh, you got some good tips out of this. This will help your portable radio out quite a bit most of the time on transmitting and receiving. Give you a little better range and better capability to reach that distant repeater. Thanks and 7-3.